Right now at six, a young life lost in the fight against coronavirus. A Suffolk family mourns the loss of a loved one. And students at a local school will be without a classmate, one that's been described by her mother as a friend to everyone. We do want to thank you for joining us tonight. We begin at six with just a heartbroken family. Their little girl is gone a victim of the virus that has taken way too many lives. It was just days between the time that Teresa Sperry started feeling sick and Monday when she passed away from COVID-19. Teresa was just 10 years old and a fifth grader at Hill Point Elementary School. Well, tonight we are hearing from her family and school officials and your side's Andy Fox has that story for us tonight. Andy. Tom and Anita, this is a COVID-19 death story five days from beginning to end for a young lady at the start of her life. So much promise and then gone. And in the end, a message. This is a picture of Teresa Sperry after she won the summer reading challenge and for that got a book credit at a local library. We love reading. And she was so excited to be able to pick out whatever books that she wanted. And she just, she was happy. The happy times turned to sad times, devastating times, beginning last Wednesday with a headache into the weekend. Sunday, she started getting sick and she was coughing and she coughed up so much that she started throwing up. Monday, shortly after 4.46 p.m., Teresa was dead. He just came in front of me and he said, I'm sorry. The Sperrys are both vaccinated and they have learned the hard way COVID-19 is real. At the school board meeting while I was sitting next to my daughter dead, at the school board meeting in Chesapeake, people were saying, this doesn't affect healthy people. This doesn't kill healthy people. It's not going to take our children. COVID is over. It is not over. If it was over, my daughter would still be alive. Suffolk Public School Superintendent, Dr. John Gordon. Empathy that we have for the Sperry family. Um, we are so sorry that this has happened. This is something that no parent ever wants to go through. They never want to outlive their children, and especially when you lose someone at such a young age. The Sperrys had this message for anyone who will listen. Get a vaccine if you can, if you are medically able to get a vaccine. Wear a mask, wear it properly. Take it seriously. Have care and compassion for other people like we have had for the past year and a half, and now our compassion has caused us to lose our daughter. It's not fair. More people should have been able to get to know her and become a better person because of her. Yeah, we don't know where Teresa got COVID from. We know both her parents are vaccinated. Dad has tested positive for COVID as well as a brother. Dr. Gordon says contact tracing has been ongoing. We don't know the results of that yet. Counseling also trying to explain to other 10 year olds that their friend is gone. If you'd like to help the family go online to wavy.com, click the story in the newsroom. Andy Fox, 10 on your side. Oh, it's just heartbreaking. Thank you, Andy.